Hey you guys, Linwood here, and today I am going to show you how to do the Geisha Knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner right here. Um, just so you guys know, this was named by some of my subscribers on both Instagram and on Facebook. It was about a month ago that I took the vote on this one. I've had so many knots backed up, but this one here uh, received the name Geisha Knot because a lot of people thought it looked like the rolls that they usually have in their hair. To me, it also looks like a club, like in a deck of playing cards. Um, but let me know which name you like better down in the comment section below, uh, and I'm going to dive right in. Just so you know, I get compliments on this tie all the time, so I will include a link in the description box uh, of where you can purchase this tie. And I believe the price on it is, I want to say like around... 10 to 13 dollars for the tie and a matching handkerchief so it's not too bad in terms of price all right i'm gonna go ahead and take this down and we will get started all right you guys so same as always this is my right side this is my left side uh the image has been flipped for your viewing pleasure so when i say right it will also be your right when i say left it will also be your left it's just like tying a tie in a mirror so i'm gonna start off with my uh, blade of the tie which is the large end sitting at about my belt line and I'm gonna start off by creating my power crease all right so all I did for that was just put my finger in the middle and just pinch from the outsides bring it in and there you have it now from there I'm gonna go ahead and cross my tail which is the thin end over the top of the blade we're gonna wrap it around the back like so and then we're gonna keep it going by wrapping it back around the front. Look at the pattern on that tie, it is gorgeous. I love this tie. And then bring it up from the back and we're gonna pull it right on down the center. Just so you guys know, this is not an overly difficult knot, but um, it will require some nimbleness of those fingers. So hopefully you guys are ready. Now, once we have this part, I'm going to simply fold this baby in half so my edges are meeting in the middle and the smooth side is facing outward and I'm just going to keep it folded all the way down to the end of the tail I'm gonna place that baby right on in this loop here and as I pull through would you look at the color oh my gosh I need to get this tie in like every color they have because they have it in like a, a few different color options I love this tie I absolutely love it and I was lucky enough to catch it on a sale for like two bucks. It was fantastic. Okay, so we went ahead and we fed it from the right side up and through the center uh, of that top portion on the right. And now we're just gonna go ahead and cross on over the top, still keeping it folded. And then we're going to just pass right on through the same loop here from the right side again. Just like so. So now we've got our side loop and our top loop. And you guessed it, on this one we're gonna go ahead and take this tail end. I'm gonna pull it through this bottom portion here. Before I do that, I wanna make sure I can dig in there really well. I wanna find that gap. See how my finger went all the way through? That's the part that I'm gonna go ahead and reach for. So I'm just gonna pull it all the way through there, like so. And then we're gonna tuck it down the back. And from there, I'm just kind of looking to see where all I can fit this baby in here. So I found a loop right there. You guys see it? There's my loop. And I'm just gonna feed that tail end right on through it. And then we'll go ahead and bring it on back forward. Now from here, it's all in the adjusting. So the thing that you wanna keep in mind is everything is kind of attached because of the way that we looped it through. So if I adjust one, it's going to adjust another portion of it. So as I pull here, it's going to tighten my top loop. So if I want to go ahead and make sure that I have a larger top loop, I'm going to pull from both sides. Let me find it. There it is. And then that way I can easily adjust and make sure it's a bit more symmetrical in terms of the size of the loop. So of course you can make it as exaggerated here as you want, or you can make it more modest there and exaggerate on the top to make more of a figure eight type of shape. So However exaggerated you want it, I kind of like it to be even on all sides. But I can see the appeal for the figure eight as well. And then I guess just let me know what you guys uh, 
which way you guys like it the best, especially if you are following me on social media. Uh, you can tag me in the photos on Instagram at who sees this, or you can just go ahead and post it on my uh, Facebook wall for this page, and that is facebook.com uh, forward slash, might be a backslash, I don't know, I'll put it on the description box, uh, forward slash who sees this official. And yeah, there you guys have it. So of course, as always, let me straighten this baby out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. And until next time, you guys take care and God bless. And as always, you are fancy now. Bye-bye.